Hey traders, what's up? This is David John Hall of RetailTrader.net. As always, bringing you the best free trading information anywhere on the web. What I want to do today is go over the stock screen that we use to find the strongest stocks trading on the market at any given time. It's a simple screen, it's easy to use, and uh, you'll be able to pick it up in no time. Um, what we do is we start here at the Google homepage and you want to click on the more link and click on the finance link um, then you will be taken to the Google Finance homepage and on the top right hand corner here you will see a link for a new stock screener that uh, Google has introduced it's uh, intuitive it's very easy to use it's user friendly and it's free which I'm sure you will appreciate um, on the left hand side here we have the default Google criteria we've got market cap PE ratio dividend yield and 52 week price change by percent right off the bat we're gonna go ahead and um, get rid of the market cap the PE ratio the dividend yield percent uh, those are fundamental criteria and at RetailTrader.net, we use a strictly technical approach to trading the markets. And what that means is we look at price action, volume action, and um, time to determine our edge in the market and when to trade and when not to trade. And um, so let's go ahead and start with a 52-week price change here in the minimum uh, column. I want you to add a value of 100 and what that means is that uh, over the last 52 weeks um, the stocks we are looking at have gained a minimum of 100 percent and what this does is it ensures that we are only looking at stocks that have shown strength momentum and buying interest um, once we have entered the 52 week price change we're going to add another criteria which is price per share and so we would click on the price tab down here when I click on last price and add criteria now uh, what we're gonna do on the minimum column is add a value of ten dollars for the minimum share price and uh, the reason for this is that we are going to trade stocks that are only trading higher than ten dollars as stocks trading less than ten dollars tend to exhibit higher volatility and with higher volatility comes greater risk and at retailtrader.net we like to limit limit our risk and uh, focus only on stocks that tend to move in more predictable price patterns which um, uh, in our back testing has proven to be stocks trading over ten dollars now on the maximum uh, column here we want to enter a number of 50 and uh, the reason for this is that we are looking for stocks with um, some growth potential and some upward potential and um, while it's true that stocks trading over fifty dollars can still have moves of 100 percent 200 percent 300 percent um, it is uh, in our experience we have also determined that stocks trading less than fifty dollars per share have a higher probability of greater moves ahead now um, once we've entered the price info we want to go ahead and click down here uh, in the criteria window we want to click volume and then average volume add criteria now in the minimum column we're going to add 200 thousand shares uh, that's our minimum uh, average volume and uh, the reason why we have uh, this criteria in place is because stocks trading at fewer than 200,000 shares have shown to us also to have higher volatility and higher risk so we're going to go ahead and stay away from those stocks now, uh, once you've entered into, into your average volume, we're not going to uh, enter a number for the maximum. We're going to cancel that out, and uh, that's because we don't have a cap on the number of daily shares traded uh, in a stock. So um, once we have done that, 
we have our three criteria that we look for when screening for the strongest stocks trading anywhere on the market. So what we'll do is we will close down the criteria window and we'll find that we are left with 16 stocks out of the 7,000 stocks, 7,000 plus stocks trading on the market. And that is a very manageable number. It's a number that we can watch daily and monitor for price moves. And um, you can click on any one of these um, ticker symbols here and be taken to an informational page for that stock. If you click on SID here, you will be taken to a chart for that stock as long as, as uh, also with some uh, technical information there on the uh, share price. And if you look at the chart here, you will see that in the last year, SID has had a move of 205%. Very, very strong stock. And um, if you've been watching the market lately, you'll know that from uh, October of 2007 onward, the market has experienced quite a correction, but not SID. This is what I mean when I say that there is always a stock going up somewhere, as this stock has certainly been very strong over that time period. And uh, just recently, it has experienced a new 52-week high. And... Um, that is actually a buy signal for us and something that we watch for. Um, and um, if you scroll down here, you can see companies related to SID. You can see financial information for SID and also get some key stats and ratios. And uh, that's true for any one of the stocks listed on your stock screen here. And um, Go ahead, if you want to, click on any one of those and uh, review their financial and chart and technical information. And, uh, well, that's about it for us today, folks. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is David John Hall, and uh, don't forget to check us out at RetailTrader.net.